is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, it's 23rd, this is the Wednesday edition, an early edition, 8.06 a.m. It'll be replayed at 10 a.m., so whatever we discuss right now, you've got to wait two hours for the market to open. It'll be open for half an hour, and then you'll check to see whether or not we're at the same levels that we're looking at right now. Pre-market, I'm anticipating some kind of a consolidation today. Uh, we had at least two sessions where, oops, where the market went even higher than I anticipated in this leg C. So let's go through the numbers. We'll do it on the closing price yesterday. The Dow extended to leg C. My, my suspicion is that the 34,900, 35,000 level is going to be the big test to see whether or not uh, we can move even higher. But the futures are in, actually, this is already a leg D. I'm always looking at the Chapman Wave methodology. We try to identify the lowest low bar, and then I try to see if the um, prices that we're following go from a buy signal to an upgraded buy mode. The implication is that you'll get to at least four higher peaks. Peak A, peak B is the next, peak C is the next, and then a peak D, and then other things can happen. Well, uh, within the context of markets, we're looking at 127. Uh, let me just check that out. Yeah, 127. 131 points down right now, 34,578. But actually, the futures went to a higher high, extending that leg D at 34,792. We're only in leg C in the daily chart on the cash. So I'm anticipating some kind of a pullback today. And then over the next two days, we make that leg D. And that get tests because the high yesterday was 34,792. It tests the 34,900 area. That's going to be key for me. Fabulous action as the stochastic is at 94%. I love that. And flat, if it starts to drop and go under 80%, that's a big problem. And the MACD, the moving average is good. The weekly chart, well, we've still got to wait. We're not even halfway through the week. So we have to wait for to see what happens with this weekly chart. Action up till now has been really good, and the monthly chart has improved, obviously. Let's go to the S&P. The S&P cash yesterday went to leg C, it extended, and well into the 4,500s. And right now, the uh, futures, I'll go to the continuous contract just to show you, uh, has made a lower high than yesterday. Unlike the Dow futures, uh, the high yesterday in the futures was continuous contract was 4514.75. Today is 45.14.00, round number. And we're down 20 at 44.84. Uh, here again, stochastic is at 95%. That's fabulous. On balance, volume is really lagging. Relative strength has been, is the gray line right here. Good. And we're going to be looking at the weekly charts Friday at 4 o'clock to see how does this uh, improve or weaken. It's really important. It's above the 9 period moving average and 14 period moving averages in the um, weekly chart and then monthly chart. You would never believe that we've been under such uh, strenuous conditions with higher interest rates. We'll get to that in a moment, as well as the um, high interest rates, as well as the conflagration going on now in uh, Ukraine. I'm still wondering, has, has the, this is really an invasion? Because I don't think Ukraine has sent one bullet, let alone any uh, torpedoes or anything into into the Russian territory. Um, this is really strange. All right. So what we're looking at here is the um, E-mini now is down 18. The uh, QQQ, this is the NDX 100 trading vehicle. Now, this is very interesting. This is just a single leg up from the double bottom 318.26 low of the um, 24th of Feb. Rallies up to a peak B, fails, comes back down and goes to a slightly lower 317.45 low. And that was the 14th, yeah, the 14th of March. And now is extended higher, but it hasn't gone above the high of 370.10, uh, which was the high at peak B minus on the 2nd of February. If it does that at any point in March, 
that is really good action. I can't give this an up arrow yet. I can say, yep, they're getting close to a buy signal. This is just a single leg A. Fabulous move from 317 to the 357 level of yesterday, 357.85. Stopped dead at the 200 period moving average. Look how it was resistance all the way through in February. So all I can say is let's give this a little time. I still say that although there's been a fabulous retracement um, from the lows in uh, all the um, those terribly beaten down NASDAQ stocks, let's see what happens over the next coming coming few days. Uh, the weekly is improving. Monthly chart still doesn't look very good. And the IYM, the Russell 2000, traded down 75 cents at 208.75. That is, uh, that should have been 187. This is in a buy mode because the stochastic's at 91%. So that gets upgraded from a plus side to an up arrow. That's in leg C. And we want to see a decent close above the arch high of February the 10th, 209.05. So as it says right now, I am anticipating some kind of a digestive session today. How deep it is going to be really important to tell us what will happen on the next big move up if there is a leg D to come if we make a peak C in the with a lower high in the Dow and the S&P cash today. That's really important. Let's go on to the um, semiconductors are lagging. This to me is just a sign to say, be real careful. Single leg A up um, is down 2.16 at 268.25, the SMH market vector semiconductor ETF. This is really important. I still think there's a big issue with the semiconductors. So we're going to be watching this very, very closely. And I just wanted to check on something here before we go on. Um, is that question came in? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Um, all right. Got that out the way. Now, the resistance here at this SMH is at about the 270 level. We're going to be watching that. Only a leg A. It is a big pullback. And by the end of March, the semiconductors, rather than trying for 283, we're at 268 right now, actually are down below 253. <laughs> That'll be a big deal. All right, gold. Gold at this point is, is up seven at 1928, stuck in this little mini range right here, digesting huge gains to the 2078.80 level. I wonder if that's changed at all. 2078, not yet. It's a continuous contract. The high of the eighth is the Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down pattern. And now we're just going sideways to consolidate. Um, I think that's going to go on for just a little longer. And then I think there's a chance that uh, gold comes back as the fear factor icon and starts to rally again. Crude oil is just holding so amazingly. It's 112.23 in the continuous contract, up three. So this is a gray leg, A, because the MACD hasn't crossed positive. Stochastic is still way down at 41%. 40, so I call this gray. I make it a gray right there. Just click, click, click. There we are, gray. And that just says there's a chance that um, it can continue higher in the V shape or the cup shape formation. That'll be if it starts to close in the 116.50 or higher area. That'll be really positive. I think it's more in the side face range. I don't think this will make the full H pack by coming back down again all the way to the 90 level. I think that there's a chance that the 160. Uh, we're going to look at the TLT, which is down again, down five, six, and one. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, this is the early edition, 8, uh, 18 a.m. It will be 10, 18 this time when it's played in my in the uh, replay at my usual time. Just I couldn't make it uh, later time. Just wanted to show you in the, in the 10 minute chart, the ES Mini, this is the uh, June contract, ran very nicely to a little doji high at about 11, uh, that was 11 a.m. yesterday. Then it kind of went sideways and it popped up once at about, uh, just as we uh, closed out at four o'clock in the afternoon, I don't know, I'm not, I was sure that yesterday we would make a peak C uh, in the Dow, but in fact, what happened was uh, we ran up even further. And then what happened is we went sideways. You know, it's incredible how long pr the price of the spectacular moves. You can go sideways, look at this, between uh, 45, 14, 75, and 44.97, let's call it 4,500. 4, Just trade it all the way until it broke down. Uh, that was at 4.30 a.m. this morning. Went back to say hi to the little rectangle formation friends over there. And then, whoops, started to slide. Where did it slide to? Uh, we were looking at this, I think, yesterday. We were talking about the 200-period moving average. Look how important it is. Look at this fantastic support for hours. This is a 10-minute chart. And finally, it broke away and it broke above. And then what does it come back to a few moments ago? Starts to trade right there from about six this morning it's been trading uh, in and out of that 200 period moving average and what i've done is i love to do this i take a cluster formation on the left if this is an obvious either doji candle or some trough um and i, I create that as support and i drew that all the way in to about uh that would have been at 840 and it hasn't broken into this area but it's touched the the narrow rectangle sideways action support level the cushion and this whole area yeah this cluster formation uh between that was 10 uh, 24 hours ago that was uh, just about between uh let's call it 4483 and 4474 that's going to be key a break below that today says uh oh it's going to be a lot tougher to get to that leg d this week early uh, by by thursday or friday um, but that would still be the action that we'd expect in the daily chart. And if there's a nice move, now I'd say to subscribe to my opening call based on the, um, where did it go? 
Uh, so for, for, for my uh, subscribers, today you've got the, 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 the smallest newsletter you've ever got. It's just a couple of lines. Uh, and the reason is I, I don't know what happened, but instead of in snag it, instead of shutting down and always saying, this is unlike Trade Station where I lose all the information that I hadn't saved, uh, and then I have to try to either redo it or, or find it somewhere. Um, Snagit always saves things, but today it just closed down without saving. And out of the blue, my template for today was just destroyed. I have to redo the whole template and the whole thing. So I did a quick uh, report saying there was only one potential buy today. That's the same one that was stay, staying in place for the last couple of days. And we'll see if we get that. There's a choice even to get it if you don't want to. But that's about the only thing. And then one or two stocks that we're looking at as potentials in the next couple of days to buy. So um, just this is what I'd said. And this is my daily chart. And what I'd said was um, basically today, if the Dow is holding more than a minus 60s, that's greater than a minus 60s, after 2 p.m. Eastern time, the chances increase for a week close. The deeper the decline, the harder it will be to get to that missing leg D in the one-to-one -one extension up. That's this extension right here from the 24th of January to the high of 35,824, and then repeated from the 32,272, but it's more a sideways action uh, on the 24th of Feb that takes you to about the 34,980, 35,020 level. Okay, and this is leg C. And uh, closing down less than minus 20s would be very impressive after everything we've seen. So that's how it stands right there. A couple of things we want to finish up here. So I was talking about the TLT. The TLT is the um, iShares 20-year Treasury bond. It has 20 plus whatever extra um could be 25, 30 year, but mostly we call it the 20 year Treasury bond fund has plummeted. And now, look, this is the very moment that we can say is there a chance in leg D in the TBT, the ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond ETF, is there a chance that we stall here for a bit of a breather so that rates can come down just a little bit? Well, the Fed speak comes this afternoon. We'll see what happens. But in this pattern that I've got here of the cup formation in the Chapman wave, I call it the gravy cup because it's a little bit lopsided, but it's going back to the lip on the left side. Um, it went above the Chapman wave inside wedge resistance line. And uh, now we're looking at uh, 2184 uh, in the TBT. And the high, I forgot to type it in, was 20, 20, oh, 2260. 19.3. Let me just do that. 20, 20, 22.60. Nine. Did I say 22 or something? Uh, let me go back to see what it was. Uh, that was the high of 3.19. Good grief, I got everything twisted up. 3.19. So 3.19 back in 20... 21 uh, was at the high of 22.60. We're trading right now at 21.85. Unbelievable. And now I completely forgot again. Good grief, what a day. Yeah, I, I little, got a little confused there because I had to redo all my uh, 319. I call it 360. Uh, yeah, we got. Uh, and that plummet. Plummeted down to the 15.60, no, 15.53 low. All right, so what we're looking at here, this is a, one of the steepest and quickest moves we've had in a while, certainly the quickest on the upside, and we're going to see what happens. And in the uh, ultra-short Lehman 20-year T-bond ETF monthly chart, that peak B that was made at 22.60, that at 22.61 starts a leg C to the upside. That would be a breakout in the yields and talking about yields we can go to the tnx dot x that's the the 10 year i've already done a whole bunch of these one-to-one -one extensions to the upside this is g slash c in the weekly chart of the 10-year yield and it's trading at 2390 2.39 percent wow that and this is already in the weekly chart 
that's one thing. But look at the monthly. Look at this huge. It's almost a one-to-one -one extension to the upside um, in the monthly chart. Uh, all I can say is there's a lot of pressure. For the market to have done so well under these conditions, um, something's going on. And I keep saying, well, wait a minute. Why is the SLX at a new recovery high? Not all-time high. That's that's 68.22. But here it is at 67. Point three three. Uh, this is amazing, right? A B C D E. Is this an F or brand new upside? And it's both on the left side. Hi, look at that. Um, the resistance. So we're trying to get back to the sixty-eight point four two level. That's on the on the S N A. Why would steel stocks be running like this? Why would Alcoa be running like this? Uh, Alcoa at ninety point fifty five. Almost at a, a left side high of July. Uh, I, all I can say is um, thank you. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi uh, folks, we're back, and this is the early edition. This is going to be, uh, I couldn't make my 10 o'clock time, so I'm re recording it at 8 to 9 o'clock this morning. It'll be replayed at 10. We're looking at high-grade copper up 0.03 at 4.732. This is all, with, this is the pattern that I'm looking at here is probably going to go something like this. There's going to be an H formation. I'm not sure it needs to go all the way back to 4.60, but I think it's digesting big gains here. It's really important. Look at the OIH. A whole bunch of questions came in. Uh, there was one, one that came in yesterday. As I was wrapping up the show, I'll get to it in a moment, but the OIH has the same pattern. Look, it's got a, a peak D306.19 top. This is the, uh, yeah, there we go, oil service ETF. 
and it's pulled back very sharply, but it's bounced quite nicely. And I suspect there's a second H pattern that's going to form here, a big digestive phase after the spectacular move. TM, what's it, TME? Let me just double check. Yeah, TME is uh, Tencent Music Inc. Uh, trading up in the 32, 33 area uh, earlier this, uh, earlier last year. No, it was last year. And then something like February. And now, uh, a year later, we're looking at it having gone down to three, and it's trading at 5.10. Um, this is in a digestive phase at the bottom, trying to find some kind of, establish some kind of a base. Fantastic move from three to 5.10. No, 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 it was even higher. Let me give you the exact number. Doji candle, low of 2.95, and within six or seven sessions, it goes to 5.33. That is a huge percentage gain. But what a percentage loss going from a high back in March of last year, exactly a year ago, of 32.25 gets cut down, what, 90 something percent from 30, uh, yeah, from 30, 32 down to 2.95. Wow. Yeah, so I can see it having a little bit more of a bounce, but the, the, the monthly chart says, wow, that's terrible. The weekly chart says, yeah, it's trying to establish some kind of a low, but the chances are that if it breaks uh, 4.32 uh, at any point, then it's probably going to retest 4 and maybe try that gap again. So uh, that was that one. Then a question in the den about, oops, where did it go? Didn't I just see something here? Could I look at uh, SBA? Oh, SBA is... Um, S S B A. Wait a minute. S B A. Are you sure that you put in S B A? Um, I don't have an S B A. Uh, S B A. I'll do it again. Uh, no, I don't have one. So I'm sure maybe you, maybe you, uh, you typed in uh, one letter that was incorrect. S B A. I'm not. I'm trying to guess what it could be. No, I can't guess. Oh, SBAC. <laughs> is that right? Is that the same? No, maybe SBAC. Mm, I don't know what it is. At 322, SBAC is SBA Corporation. It doesn't give me any clue as to what they are. Um, it's stuck. The 200 period moving average at 329. It just can't move above it. That's a that's a big problem. It's in P. Oh, can't even see the chart. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can't read what it is. Uh, so ratio charts of the OIH to the XLE have just broken out above. Uh, downtrends formed from relative peaks last spring. So let's just do that. XLE, of course, that's energy stocks. Typed it in the den. No, type it over here. XLE. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What on earth did I do? What a day. First of all, I can't do my, my opening call uh, newsletter the way I always do it because... Um, I, I, there was there was a problem and I had it shut down and usually Snagit saves everything for some reason it did, as I was Xing instead of saying save and I would have said yes it just went right out so I couldn't do I had to just type in a quick uh, opening call newsletter today we're really not doing much there's one particular issue that we might add to if it gets there uh, this, is an, uh, this is an infrastructure play and actually last night the uh, Buttigieg said that they're going to give 2.5 billion. I don't know why any of these numbers is just flying around towards infrastructure. So I don't know if that's a go or whether it's discussing or whatever it is. So XLE, um, this is a peak G in the long legged doji and it went under it. That makes the area of 77 and a half short term resistance is at 75.67 right now. If it slides below 72, that's going to be a failure H pattern. I just think it's going to digest for a little bit. Peak D in the weekly chart, leg E in the monthly chart. Uh, last peak E was at in May of 2018 at 77.63, and it's already gone above that. It went to 80 point something or other, 80.22 on the 8th. That's the XLE Energy S&P Select Energy Spider Fund and the OIH. Yeah, I don't do those ratios. I just do it on a visual basis. And the OIH is lagging a lot. My thinking here is that if we continue like this, the oil service area could, in fact, just be at the start of a bigger move to the upside. I need just another week or two to be able to tell what that monthly chart is going to look like. The MACD is good. Kazakhstan is only at 74%. If by... 
the end of March. It's actually gone above 80 percent. That's going to be a big deal for the oil service sector. So I, I don't do ratio. Did anybody, did, uh, was that um, Zip? Uh, I, I missed, I missed, I didn't get the, uh, maybe put it. Sorry, Basil, my bad. Oh, SLB. Uh, is it uh, SLB? I'm sure it must be SLB because that is in the area we're talking about right now. So this is Schlumberger. You see, they're all doing this. Schlumberger, this is, uh, I believe, a Canadian company, oil uh, oil service, makes a high, most recent on the 8th with all the other um, oil sector stocks, goes to 46.27, drops to 37. Oh, there was, yeah, 37.60. On the 16th, a week and a half later, and now it's bouncing. I think it's going to stall here just for a little bit, but I don't think it's going to break down at this particular point because this is the energy sector is still desperately in play. There's no question about it. And leg E with the MACD, strong and stochastic, weakening right now in the weekly chart, 76%. But look, the 9 is so far above the 14. That's tremendous support, unless it trades at 32.50. 30, 34 to 32 in the next, really suddenly, that nine is going to stay above the 14. And that's the same in the weekly and the monthly chart, leg D. So all of them say on a purely technical trap and wave basis, they should be digesting. And yes, they are digesting. It also says on a purely technical basis, there is still tremendous support. And unless Schlumberger, SLB, oh, what was the question to add or not? Um, Oh, SBAC. It was SBAC. <laughs> I'm all over the show here. It's one of those days. I'm just following what my what, what's being asked of me. So that's Schlumberger. But you were asking about SBAC. Yes, this is one that, in the big picture, I'd say it's stuck. And when I say stuck, it means on a short-term basis, you can get some big percentage moves. But on the bigger on the bigger basis, unless it closes under 310 or 322, and it's called, ah, this is SBA, SBA Communications. Okay, it's in the communications media, I guess. Um, if it closes under 310 in March, that that is negative for both the daily and the weekly, and it says you're probably going to t break, uh, uh, fill the gap f between 310 and maybe like 306. So at this particular point, I think there's a lot of upside music. Yep, there's a lot of, let's just make it as simple as possible. You see this orange 200 period exponential moving average at 329? I think it's going to chop up and down and up and down around that until it decisively breaks to the 343 level. At that stage, that is really positive. Right now, it's just stuck. Not looking bad, just stuck. Okay. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hello, folks, we're back. So a couple of the uh, um, oil uh, service, Transocean, offshore drilling, oil and gas, trading at 4.43. Um, I'm watching this closely. It, it's unfortunate it didn't fill the gap uh, in the 470 area, but it is holding quite nicely. It's up 10 cents pre-market at 4.53. Yeah, this is looking good, but percentage-wise, you get in here at 4.43, and all, if it, all it does is test the four area, that's a 10% uh, correction. So it depends on your longer term. But all of these, the other one was I I I E O, which is the um, uh, iShares US Oil and Gas ETF. You know, I I think I actually did this last night because someone else had asked me about it, and I lost that data because I had to shut down uh, Trade Station. I wasn't. A, I thought I'd saved everything very nicely. But um, for some reason, maybe I didn't do this one. Uh, I, it's one I don't usually follow. I follow mo most of the others, uh, the ETFs, uh, especially the ones that are comprehensive, that um, have a big picture because they are the ETF of that particular sector. Um, but this is holding very nicely. This is almost at the recent high at 82.37. Actually, pre-market up at 83.70. This is the one that's doing really well. U.S. oil and gas ETF, it's even better than the OIH because this is uh, broader. So, yes, I like this. E, um, uh, to get it right here, that's a little tough because your, your risk reward is, is different altogether. But as a long term buy and hold, uh, if you can scale in, maybe nibble here at 83 and then plan that you want it at 83, 77 and 72 and hopefully not get the set, the third one. You get the two and then it really moves higher. But you you don't actually want to get that third one because that's just the aberrational move to the downside. And then I'll say this sector is really in trouble. You'd have to wait longer. So preferably just a, a two entries, nibble here and add maybe five points, uh, five points or so lower, maybe even six points lower if you can get it. All right, so a couple of things that I, I, I had questions about. So could I do um, the wheat, etc. cetera? So, yeah, oh, is that correct? Yeah, wheat is trading at 11.34. Remember I said after that huge move with the Chapman Wave Roman candle and then a break halfway between the, the wick, uh, low and high, the, the bottom part of the wick, says that you're gonna retest and probably break the left side low, did that, and now the 10.24 level is really strong support is 100 points above that. I just think it's stuck in a range for now, but absolutely wheat is in play. And at what point will wheat start to move higher? We're going to know very, very soon. If it doesn't go under 1024 in the next, what is today? By Monday, but instead it breaks into the 12, uh, 13, yeah, 12, 13 area or higher, 12, 15. Oh. That's that's a big deal. Uh, soybeans continuous contract is working its way in the rectangle formation towards the upper part of the rectangle, uh, and it's trading uh, at 
up 13 and a quarter at 1709. Uh, this is nice action. As I said before, the reason why we aren't continue to hold the DBA Agricultural Fund is because at 22.13, uh, this is holding in that big rectangle formation. In fact, I meant to put to expand it. Uh, maybe I slipped there. It is. I expand this rectangle to say it's just consolidating huge gains. And if you're looking at um, corn or corn, as we say here in the Boston area, sideways action, high level consolidation. Uh, this is just saying these grains are. are it's really important. This. Corn starts to trade not at 7.57 like it is right now, but breaks and closes under 7.04. That'll say at least for this phase, there's a big digestive uh, pattern going on. A quick couple of quick questions here. Oh yeah, uh, CCI. Um, oh CCJ. CCJ is here we go. CCJ is Chemico Chemico Corporation Uranium Energy. Look how well the uranium has done. It's broken out in the weekly chart. This is a 29.70 pre-market. It's above the high yesterday was 30.04. Um, that's in leg E, but it's a leg D in the weekly chart and a leg F in the monthly. Uranium is on fire. Let's just see UUU. This is the one that we've looked at very often. I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't got back in. We've had it once before. This is trading. It's the same pattern, actually. This is Uranium Energy Fuels, Inc., Symbol U U U U at 10.26 up eight cents. It's in play, but it is making this kind of double top in the cup formation in the weekly chart. And then it might pull back a little bit, but I would say anywhere in the nines, this is. Um, I want to look at it again because that's where it could become attractive again. So that's that's an E in the daily chart. Okay, a couple of things we need to look at here. So Nike, Nike had a spectacular earnings report at first. Then on, on retrospect. Uh, they weren't that impressed with Nike. So Nike popped up, gapped to hit the 50 period moving average exactly. And then from the high yesterday of 100 and there it is, from 139.00, we're always looking for gaps with round numbers. 139, a round number high. Whoops. Round number high. Um, it's pulled back and it's trading now at 132.87. So that big red candle says the breakout pattern from the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone has to become a propellant zone. It's also the flat falling axe formation. So if it closes under 100 and if it closes under 128, it's a big problem because it says whatever Nike said, the market is disbelieving it. Okay, EUR USD. This is the euro dollar currency pair making the arch formation, but it isn't fading yet. It's just making this, this, it's just done that over and over and over. This is the first time it's held for so long uh, since February, the uh, about the 10th or so, where it made that peak B minus and turned around and, and created an arch formation, took out decisively the left side low. So this is acting at 1.098. It's down just a tad. Uh, the low was 1.08, was it? 1.0806. I'll never get used to these numbers. And uh, it's a little higher than that. Uh, what we are looking at is that the dollar, DXY, dollar is holding very well. It's up 30 ticks at 90.75. See, a high-level consolidation means that it's established the boundaries, and those boundaries can last for quite a while. If it's at a high, the chances are it might make one little pop to the upside, but it then, once it breaks to the upside and doesn't hold, it comes back into the rectangle and it could slide all the way to the bottom. And that would say if it breaks above 99.42 and doesn't hold for more than a day or two and then comes back to the 99, say 29 area, there's a good chance that over the coming weeks it plummets down to the 97.71 low of the 10th of March. But a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. We're looking at that's the dollar. Just want to go back to gold. Uh, gold now is uh, up five at 1926. There it is. Rectangle pattern. This is on the lower range. It's almost like a head and shoulders. But there's this uppercase A. You remember the Eiffel Tower? Straight up and straight down. Oh, I was reading so many fascinating things recently about uh, to do with the Eiffel Tower, um, how it was made, uh, what, how they, they built it. And then they took it apart and sent it to America as a gift. And the Americans had to put it together. What a fascinating story. 
And there was a lot of, uh, you can imagine, America receiving this thing saying, what do we need it for? I saw blah, 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 and look at it today, stack. Oh, I, no, sorry, stack. Stack your privilege. I'm back in a moment. Eiffel Tower Pat right here. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hello, this is Mel's Tapia. Early edition is going to be, uh, what's it, just about five minutes to nine o'clock Eastern time. You're going to go over, we've got, we've got the news, and then we've got uh, Tommy O'Brien with Market Kick of Fabulous Show. Just great programming all the way through to the day. Please stay tuned. Uh, what, what I am looking at here is the TBT has a chance just to start a little bit of a, that's the bonds, the inverse bonds, to pull back a little bit, maybe fill the gap, and then we'll see how long it can last on a dip. But if it cl climbs over 22, it's at 2161 right now. If it closes over 22, that's going closer and closer to the left side high of 22.60 from March of 2021, a year ago. Look at this big cup shape formation. What I'd say to subscribers to my opening call, and we long the Dow from the, over a week ago, um, this is leg C. How deep this pullback is is going to make it uh, give us a lot of clues as to whether there can be a peak D that goes towards the 34,900, 35,000 area in the Dow. Uh, remember, markets tend to get very bored with news no matter how bad it is, and then they come right back to the news, and I think today is where we're looking at the news again. So that's very important. Uh, this is, uh, on a bigger scale, the Dow move that we've just seen, and the S&P, and in fact, all the indices, this is just a start of something 
uh, if it's going to be uh, going all the way from March into April on the upside. But we're right now getting, getting to strong resistance levels, and we'll see how we can break above that. So just watch this closer today. I said if the Dow is more than minus 60 off the 2 o'clock, that's going to be a weak close. If it comes back and it's only minus 20, that's incredible action. I, I think we're more likely to be uh, down quite sharply and uh, then we got the, going into Friday's close is going to be really important for the weekly charts. So just a, a moment's high, just, just a quick question came in about DEA, uh, DE trading. Oh, it's even up today, 70 cents at 4.28. Uh, we've been long for a while. Um, this is a leg C. I think it will make a leg D. I'm watching real close. Is that rectangle for me at 3.93 uh, to 3.20? If it starts to pull back at any point in the next few weeks below 400, that's going to be an issue. So this is either a leader or it's telling us something about the tractor farm equipment area. Um, have a wonderful day. Stay tuned uh, for programming and check out both. I'll be back on regular time. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.